Hello students, in this video we will see one problem on event scheduling. Okay. So the question is like this, consider a grocery store with one checkout counter, the IAT between customer and service time is given in the table. Perform the simulation until the clock time is 23, that is the stopping time is 23 using event scheduling algorithm, find server utilization and maximum queue length. So they have given IIT and HT. Let us see how many columns are given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 customers are there. Okay. So for the first customer, there is no IIT. You know that. Okay. So even in the exam, if they don't give it as a, a table form, if they just give 1, 1,163752 and then HT as this one, you should be very clear that first customer IIT should be made as empty or hyphen. You put a hyphen. So, and you have to assume that the first customer arrives at time zero, even if they don't specify. Okay. So, let us make one table which is having customer, eight customers we have, IAT and then ST. Okay. So, IAT for the first one, you should be very clear that you have to make it as a hyphen. Okay. And then ST, all, I mean like, you know, IAT, first uh, customer arrives at zeroth time. So, there is no IAT. And the ST we have for all the eight customers because service is provided for all the customers. Okay, so uh, IAT you have written. Let us see what is the arrival time. So arrival time is the probability that is a cumulative value of IAT. So initially arrival time is zero. So next arrival time will be one plus zero one. Next one will be one plus one two six plus two eight three plus eight eleven seven plus eleven eighteen. 5 plus 18, 23, 2 plus 23, 25. Okay. And all these are the arrival time clocks. So for all these clocks, let me just indicate them with uh, A so that, you know, they uh, indicate or they, you know, they uh, they are like for uh, arrival. Okay. So these, cl uh, these clocks are for arrival. Okay. Next we will see. Time service begins and then departure time. Departure time is nothing but the time service ends. Okay. So, departure time, uh, we will see. First, we will see get, uh, TS begins. Time service begins. For the first customer, you know TS begins at zero. So, departure time, that is TS ends is nothing but service time plus TS begins. So, four plus zero, four. Okay, and then we will see the next deep, uh, time service begins for the next customer. Okay, so the next customer, uh, the, the first customer, he ended at fourth minute. Okay, the next customer is arriving at uh, first minute. He is arriving at time one, that is first minute. So out of these, uh, when the second customer is arrived, the first customer is still taking the service. Okay, so he has to wait, the second customer has to wait. So the time uh, service begins at the greater among one and four, that is four. So the time service starts at four, okay, for the second customer. And uh, departure time is two plus four, six. And next one, uh, the customer, uh, the second customer is uh, ending at six. The next customer is starting at second minute itself. So out of two and six, the highest is six. So the TS begins for the third customer is six. And departure will be five plus six, 11. So similarly, the next customer is arriving at eight and he is uh, completing at 11. So 11 is the TS begins for the next customer. So the same way you will be completing the uh, table here. Okay. And the next one, uh, so the next one we will see, uh, we, I have just given say something like this, okay. LQ of 0 is 0, LS of 0 is 1, initial conditions. That means initially when the customers enter, the length of the queue initially it will be 0, okay, at 0th clock time. And the service time, first time it will be 1. Okay, so LQ of 0, the Q length can be 0 or 1 or 2, 4, 5, whatever. But uh, LS, that is length of the service, if it is 1, uh, the service is being provided. If it is 0, there is no service provided. 
So here we will make one uh, table. This is the simulation table which will be having clock, event type. LQ of T, LS of T, then future event list, then server busy time B, then maximum Q length MQ and then we will see the illustration. Okay, so now just before coming to this, let us see this particular table. Okay, and uh, for all the departure time, I have mentioned it as D. That means they are the departure time clocks. Initial, uh, you, you know, this AT and DT, they are basically the clock times okay so 0 1 2 8 11 18 23 25 they are the clock times they are all for arrival and then 4 6 11 15 16 23 27 28 they are for departure okay now in this table okay in the simulation table we will have to write the clock so how do we write the clock you take at and you take dt arrival time departure time you take sort them is in ascending order and then put them here okay why did i stop here for 23 because the stopping time is 23 so you can stop at 23 you don't have to write 25 27 and 28 okay so let us see now how it is being sorted so first is 0 1 2 then 4 6 8 11 see 11 is appearing twice that means it is both a and d and then uh, we have 15 16 18 then 23 is again uh, uh, you know arrival and departure and then uh, so uh, uh, 23 is a stopping time so we can put, uh, stop there okay so i have written all the time the clock times between 0 and 23 and we also will write what is the event type whether it is arrival or departure so for 11 and 23 see for 11 11 is arrival 11 is departure also similarly 23 is arrival 23 is departure also so for 11 and 23 we are writing both a and d here okay so initially we should know that lq is 0 ls is 1 so for the first when when clock is 0 lq ls will be 0 and 1 respectively so let us just write that first then we will see what is the future event list so future event list means what is the next arrival and what is the next departure so according to this one what is the next arrival arrival the, uh, arrival at what clock one so a comma one what is the next departure the first yeah here yeah, d comma four so future event list will have a one d four and ending at what time 23 okay then uh, we, we will see what is a server busy time so initially for the first clock time when clock is zero uh, server busy time will be zero maximum q length is this lq you have to see Okay, so it is zero, so maximum queue length is also zero. So let us see the illustration. Now, what is the event type? A, arrival. So one customer has arrived and he is getting the service. Okay, so whoever is getting the service, I have just highlighted with the blue color. Okay, so customer one has arrived. Anybody is there in the queue? Nobody is there. So LQ is zero. Okay, is it clear? Okay, let's go with the next one okay so customer one uh, clock one customer what is the event type a arrival so whenever it is an arrival event whenever it is an arrival event check if ls of t is one okay uh, uh, if that is so then increment lq of t by one so you have to look into arrival uh, uh, just check the uh, yeah, event type so since event type is a check ls of previous clock check ls of the previous clock so since it is ls of t is one that means the service is still being provided you have to be there in the queue so check the previous ls value if it is one then increment the new lq value of the new customer to one okay so increment lq by one so it was zero you have to increment it to one and this remains as it is okay so now what are the new values of uh, 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 L -L lq and ls for the uh, clock one is one and one okay so whenever it is a new customer check the previous value of ls for arrival if it is one increment lq of two 
Okay. Now, what is a future event list? Now, what is the next arrival? A at 2. So, A 2. Then, what is the departure? D at 4. Then, stopping time is 20. Okay. Now, let us see what is the server busy time. Okay. Now, uh, server busy time, how it is calculated is, now two things are over. Now, we have to find out this. Okay. So, check the previous clock and the new clock. That means the current clock. So, between 0 and 1, is the server busy? Is LS equals T? LS, LS of T is 1? Yes. Okay. That means between the current clock and the previous clock, if at all the server is busy in the previous clock, that means if the server uh, that is LS of T is 1, that means the server is busy. So, if the server is busy, what we are doing here is we will add uh, the new busy time with the previous busy time. So, what is the previous busy time is 0. So, 0 plus the difference between them 1 minus 0, 1. So, 0 plus 1, 1. Okay. So, this is how you will be adding. Then, what is the maximum Q length out of 0 and 1, which is the maximum value 1 that we are writing. So, let us see the illustration. What is the event type? Arrival. So, now C1 is taking the service. C2 has arrived. Okay, so it is in the queue. So one customer is in the queue. Okay, the same way let's go with the next one. What is the next event at clock number, clock two? Uh, we have the event arriving. So arrival event you check. If LS of T is one, increment LQ of T. So the previous LS of T is one. So you have to increment LQ of T by one. So one becomes two here and then LS remains as one. Then future event, uh, the next arrival is at A. So A8, then D4, the next departure is D at 4, then uh, E23. Okay, so let's see the uh, busy time now. So between 1 and 2, okay. Now we will see between 1 and 2, between 1 and 2. Is the server busy? This one you have to check. Yes, it is busy. 1 means it is busy. So if it is busy, Take the previous value 1 plus the difference between these two clocks. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is so 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. Then uh, we will see what is the maximum Q length. Out of 0, 1, 2, what is the maximum uh, value? 2. So that you are writing. Now in this illustration, since uh, clock 2, one more customer is arriving that is customer 3, he again he is also in the queue. C1 is still taking the service, he, is, it, he has not yet departed. So C2, C3, two uh, customers are in the queue. So the length is 2. So let's go with the next one. At clock number 4, it is departure. So if it is departure, go with departure event. If LQ of T is greater than 0, decrement LQ of T by 1. That means somebody is departing. So, if somebody is departing, now Q length will be decremented by 1, correct? So, uh, 2 becomes 1 here. Then this is remaining as it is. That means the service is still provided. And then the future event list is A8 and then D6. Okay, then E23. So, server busy. Between 2 and 4, is a server busy? Yes. So, uh, 4 minus 2, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. And the maximum Q length is still 2 itself, according to this one. So now C1 is departed, C2 is in is taking the service, C3 is in the queue. So one so customer is in the queue. Okay. So the next one is again departure. So if it is departure, so check LQ is greater than 0. Yes. So now 1 minus 1, 0, this becomes, this is same 1. Future event is 8 and then D11, then, then E23. Uh, server uh, ser uh, server busy time, let us see. Between 4 and 6, is the server busy? Yes. So, um, 6 minus 4, 2. 2 plus 4, 6 will be the busy time. And then maximum length is still Q. So, since it is departure, C2 is again uh, departed. C3 is taking the service. Is anybody is in the queue? No. So, length is C. Next, one customer is arriving at clock 8. So 8, somebody is arriving here. So if it is arrival, if LS of T is 1, increment LQ of T by 1. So this is, there is a queue here. 
So one one future event A eleven D eleven E twenty three. Now between six and eight LS is one. So eight minus six two two plus six eight is a server busy time. Maximum length is still two. So since somebody has arrived, he 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 is in the queue. So C four in is in the queue. C three still taking the service. Next one you see it is both A and D. So when both the A and D are given, you don't have to look into arrival event or departure event. You just you know directly copy the values from the previous row. That means L Q L S values you copy into the next L Q and L S values. Okay, that is. Uh, Let's say this one here. Uh, the the LQ value since it is both arrival and departure, just copy into this. Similarly, LS value also just copy into this. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, one one. Then uh, future event list A eight. The next arrival is at eighteen. So A eighteen, D fifteen, then E twenty three. Now between eight and eleven, is the server busy? Yes. So eleven minus eight three three plus eight eleven. Okay, then server uh, queue maximum length is still uh, two. Uh, and then uh, since it is both arrival and departure, now C three will be departed. C five will be arrived. So C four will be getting the service. Okay, the next one is departure. So once it is departure, check length of queue. If it is greater than zero, decrement it by. So zero one future event list, and then between fifteen and eleven the server is busy. So four plus eleven fifteen. So uh, queue length is still two, and then somebody is departed. That is C four is departed. C five is taking the uh, service now. Nobody is there in the queue. Now uh, yeah, clock sixteen again one more departure. So now we will see departure event. If L Q of T is greater than zero, is it greater than zero? No. And so I can't do that. So L S of T is equal to zero. That means there is nobody in the queue, and there is just one person who is taking the service. He is also departing. Correct? He is departing. So C five is departing. That means nobody is there in the queue, and at the same time nobody is there to take the service also. That is why we will make length of the service as zero. So this is remaining zero. Now L S becomes zero. And uh, future event is A eighteen D twenty three. Now uh, between fifteen and sixteen, between fifteen and sixteen is a uh, server busy. Yes, L S is one. So sixteen minus fifteen one one plus fifteen sixteen is a busy time. Okay. So now nobody is taking the service and C five has departed. Nobody has come also. Correct. So now there is no service taken. That is why LS is zero. Now let's go with the next one. At eighteenth uh, clock, somebody is arriving. Okay, so arrival, arrival. We will go with the arrival. If LS of T is one, that means check the LS of T of the previous one. Is it so? No, LS of T is not one. So you have to set it to one. So LS of T, we will set it to one. Q length still zero only. Okay, because immediately this C customer six, as soon as he comes, no, he is taking the service. Okay, so nobody is there in the queue. So future event A twenty three, D twenty three, E twenty three. So between eighteen and sixteen now. Okay, let's see that between eighteen and sixteen. Between eighteen and sixteen, is the server busy? No, correct. It has become zero. So you just copy the same value. Okay, so sixteen, no change in that. Okay, so next one uh, we will see at twenty three. Both arrival and departure. You know what happens when both arrival and departure? Just copy the value zero one. Okay, so it will be zero one, and this you can just leave it empty. I just took it from the table what I have created previously, so it will be twenty five twenty seven and twenty three. Okay, and the busy time twenty three is between eighteen and twenty three. Is the server busy? Yes. So between twenty three and uh, eighteen, that is five. Five plus sixteen, twenty one is a busy time. Maximum queue length is still two. Okay. So arrival departure. So six C six has departed. C seven has arrived. So this is how you calculate the event uh, that is simulation table for event scheduling. 
for the given stopping time. Okay, so server busy time is 21. So, uh, you know, it is all like we just kept on adding with the previous value. So, cumulative value 21 is the total busy time and total time they have given a stopping time that is 23. So, server utilization will be server busy time divided by total time that is 21 divided by 23. 91.3% is the server utilization. 